some other questions. I wish I had. Sorry, I'm late. No worries. Jayo Radha Madhava Jaya Punja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Punja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Punja Jaya Gopi Jana Bala Jaya Giri Bharada Jaya Gopi Jana Bala Jaya Jaya Yashodananda Jaya Brajjana Jaya Yamuna Tirabana Chari Jaya Punjabi Jayaradhamadhavajayapunjabihari. Jayaradhamadhavajayapunjabihari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Prabhu Pada, Jaya Prabhu Pada, Jaya Prabhu Pada, Jaya Prabhu Pada. Jaya Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Pada Jaya Shila Prabhu Pada Ki Jaya Jaya Om Vishnu Pada Paramahamsa Paribhraja Kachari Ashto Tura Supreme Divine Guest of the Charan Arvind Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shila Prabhu Pada Ki Jaya Shri Shraddha Sarad Bihari Ki Jaya Jagannath Baldev Subhadra Maharani Ki Jaya गौर ने कहा है कि जाए समवेत गौर भक्तों ने कि जाए आम ग्लोइश असंबल डिवोटिस आम ग्लोइश असंबल डिवोटिस आम ग्लोइश असंबल डिवोटिस आम ग्लोइश आम ग्लोइश तो फिगुरु एंड फिगर एंड हरी हरी तो मदर बंदा मनीष इस डे शेयर द स्क्रीन और यू शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन व्हिच एवर यू प्रेफर प्रभु इफ यू लाइक टू हैव कंट्रो I, I, that's okay. It's ready with me. Oh, you yeah. can do it because you're the host. You can do it. It's yeah, the, I can give you. I can give you co-host too. Either. Yeah. Either. Okay. Okay. I'll give you co-host. Okay. Sir. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय so i <clears throat> thank you so much for making me this part of this this has been the bhagavatam i welcome everyone we we'll are reading from 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam the samam banam canto uh, chapter 8 lord krishna shows the universal form and text text 6 <clears> tvam <throat> hi brahma vidam shreshto samskaran kartu maharshi valaya ranaya runam janmana brahmano guru tvam hi brahma vidam shreshto samskaran kartu maharshi valaya ranaya runam जन्मना ब्रह्मणो गुरुहो त्वम हि ब्रह्म विदाम श्रेष्ठम श्रेष्ठः संस्कारान कर्तुम आरसि बालयरण्ययनुनाम जन्मना ब्रह्मणो गुरुहो त्वम हि ब्रह्म विदाम श्रेष्ठः संस्कारार कर्तुम आरसि बालयोर ब्राह्मणो गुरु ब्राह्मणो गुरु है संस्कारान बाल्योर अनयोर जन्मना ब्राह्मणो गुरु थैंक यू सो मच सो विल गो फॉर वर्ड बाय वर्ड ट्रांसलेशन योर होलीनेस ही इंडीड ब्रह्म विदम ऑफ ऑल ब्राह्मण ऑफ पर्सन टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ब्राह्मण ब्रह्म जानाति ब्राह्मण बेस्ट यू आर द बेस्ट संस्कार सेरमन इज परफॉर्म फॉर रिफॉर्मेशन बिकॉज बाय दीज रिफॉर्मेटरी एक्टिविटीज वन टेक्स वन सेकेंड बर्थ संस्कार भवे द्विज कर्त महारसी बिकॉज यू हैव काइंडली कम हियर काइंडली एक्जीक्यूट बाल of these two sons krishna and balram anayo of both of them nirnam not not only of them but of all human society janmana as soon as he takes birth brahmana immediately the brahmana becomes guru the guide translation and purport by divine grace abhay charana arvind bhakti vedanta swami shri prabhupa My Lord, you are the best of the Brahmanas, especially because you are fully aware of the Jyoti Shastra, the astrological science. Therefore, you are naturally the spiritual master of every human being. This being so, since you have kindly come to my house, kindly execute the reformatory activities for my two sons. <clears throat> for put the supreme personality of godhead krishna says in bhagavad gita 4.13 chaturvarnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagasa the four varnas brahmana kshatriya vaishya 
and Sudra must be present in society. The Brahmanas are required for the guidance of the whole society. <clears throat> if there is no such institution as Varnashrama Dharma, and if human society has no such guide as the Brahmana, human society will be hellish. In Kali Yuga, especially at the present moment, there is no such thing as a real Brahmana. And therefore, society is in a chaotic condition. Formerly, there were qualified Brahmanas. But at present, although there are certainly, certainly persons who think themselves Brahmanas, they actually have no ability to guide the society. The Krishna consciousness movement is therefore very much eager to reintroduce the Varnashrama system into human society so that those who are bewildered or less intelligent will be able to take guidance from qualified Brahmanas. <clears throat> Brahmana means Vaishnava. After one becomes a Brahmana, the next stage of development in human society is to become a Vaishnava. People in general must be guided to the destination or goal of life, and therefore they must understand Vishnu, the personality of Godhead, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The whole system of Vedic knowledge is based on this principle. But people who but people have lost that clue. Nate Vidhu Sartha Gatim Si Vishnu and they are simply pursuing sense gratification with the risk of gliding down to that to a lower grade of life. Mrityu samsara bhartmani. It doesn't matter whether one is born a Brahmana or not. No one is born a Brahmana. Everyone is born a Sudra. But by the guidance of a Brahmana and by samskara, one can become Dvija, twice born and then gradually become a Brahmana. Brahmanism is not a system meant to create a monopoly for a particular class of man. Everyone should be educated so as to become a Brahmana. At least there must be an opportunity to allow everyone <clears throat> to attain the destination of life. Regardless of whether one is born in a Brahmana family, a Kshetra family, or Sudra family, one may be guided by a proper Brahmana and be promoted to the highest platform of being a Vaishnava. <clears throat> Thus, the Krishna consciousness movement affords an opportunity to develop the right destiny for human society. Nanda Maharaj took advantage of the opportunity of Gargamuni's presence by requesting him to perform the necessary reformatory activities for his sons to guide them toward the destination of life. Om Ajnanam Timirandasya Jnananjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Ashmai Sri Gurave Namaha Namaom Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirbisesa Sunyavadi Pashya Tadesa Tarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Siva Sadi Sigaura Bhakta Gunda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Ram, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so the translation, my Lord, you are the best of the Brahmanas, especially because you are very, you are fully aware of the Jyoti Shastra, the astrological science. Therefore, you are naturally the, the spiritual master of every human being. So this is being um, spoken by Nanda Maharaj to uh, um, Gargamuni. So before we would summarize on this, um, uh, I would like to refer one of the uh, bhajans which Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, 
uh, pertaining to the human body. He says, Durlabha Manava Janma Labhya Samsare Krishna Nam Bhajino Dukha Kohiba Sahare Krishna Nam Bhajino Dukha Kohiba Sahare Dullava manava janma Labhya samsare Here Bhaktivinoda Thakur, um, uh, one of the authority, uh, the Acharya of spiritual science, Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, he refers the human being, the human species itself, um, as a Durlava. Durlava is, um, is called very rarely achieved. Durlava is very, very rarely achieved. <clears throat> so Durlava Manava Janma Lovia Samsari. Unfortunately, in this world, you know, we see <clears throat> men are taking birth and dying day and night, not knowing the value of what we have. And we are seeing um, a personal experience that how all this material advancement and wealth of this world, the so-called doctors, could not save human society, human being from the um, uh, disease. And people are dying. So human beings are very, very rare. That's, that's in, uh, applicable to everyone. Um, a civilized society, uh, what it does, a civilized society understand this concept because a civilized, civilized society knows the difference between a body and soul. What is, uh, what is body and what, what is soul, they understand, that's why they're called Aryas. Aryans means one who understands that there's a soul be, uh, within the body. <clears throat> So uh, that's the symptom of civilized society. So this Varnashrama system is actually a progressive development of the soul. It focuses on progressive development of the soul. Because of their knowledge in the Shastras, because of their knowledge in the spiritual science, they can see things which not seen. Okay. Example, the body is seen, but the soul is, cannot be seen. However, a, a civilized society called Aryans, they know uh, through the higher science, through the Vedic science, they know the life um, uh, within this body. Mm -hmm. um, however, um, in this world, we will always find those who deny the existence of the soul their opinions and their activities are different than the activities the activities and opinions of a civilized society who are called Aryans. As in Bhagavad Gita, uh, Lord Krishna explains, do bhuta sargo loke smin deva asro evacha daiva vista rasa prakta asram parthame sunu. He says, O Sanapratha, in this world, there are two kinds of created beings. One is called divine and the other is demoniac. I have already explained to you at length the divine qualities. Now hear from me the demonic. So we don't have to be surprised when we have difference of opinion. According to Krishna, since time immemorial, throughout the world, throughout the universe, we will find always two categories of people. Those who are born in, in the divine uh, qualities and those are born with demonic qualities. And what is the divine quality is, they understand, they take this human life as a very rare, because it is rarely achieved, and it is meant for self-realization. On the demonic uh, aspect, uh, 
the, the nature is the demonic people, their only goal is the body is meant for sense enjoyment. Uh, so the body is only meant for sense enjoyment. That's why the, the opinions will always vary between two classes of people. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of religious system is to actually establish the Varnashrama system. Irrespective of whatever religion is mentioned in, in this world, but ultimately the religion is meant to help the soul on the progressive development of the consciousness of the soul. That's called the religion. You know, um, as Bhagavatam says, doesn't matter what religion it is, Hindu, Christian, Muslim, doesn't. Save Pumsa Param Dharma Yato Bhakti Radhakshaje Ahitukya Pratyata Yatma Suprasidate. So the supreme occupation of all religions, Save Pumsa Param Dharma, is to realize the spirit soul uh, about the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is realized in three aspects, uh, in the impersonal form as Krishna, and as Super Soul, as Paramatma, and also realized as Brahman, as a light, different levels of realization. However, that's the purpose of um, the religious system. So Varnashrama system is um, actually established for the progressive development of the soul, so that the so that the soul can realize the ultimate purpose and come out of the repeated birth and death, because only in this human form it is possible to um, free oneself from the uh, miseries of this material world. Now, Varnashrama system cannot be established, cannot exist uh, without proper education. The four classes of man, as mentioned here, the supreme personality of God at Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Chatur Varna Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Vivagasaha. The four Varnas, Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, and Sudra, must be present in the society. The Brahmanas are required for the guidance of the whole society. If there is no such institution as Varnashrama Dharma, and if human society has no such guide as the Brahmana, human society will be hellish. So this is, this is one understanding of a civilized society, why they are fighting, why they are working so hard uh, to establish temples, is to basically educate the uh, human beings about their real nature about the real identity as a spirit soul and part and parcel of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And rendering devotional service unto him will give ultimate perfection. Um, that is why a Varnashrama system is required. Now, if says, if there's, who will educate them? Out of Brahmana Kshetra Vaisya Sudra, the Brahmanas are those who are endowed with this knowledge. And it is their prime responsibility to guide the society for the spiritual development. Now, what happens if there are no Brahmanas is the it's the biggest danger to the living entity. Why? The rare birth which is given, human birth which is given to endowed to us, one may lose this opportunity. Um, that's why in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says. Uh, um, uh, what, what he says, a little endeavor on this path will save one from the greatest danger. What is the greatest danger? Uh, it says, again, getting into the lowest species. After death, one can get into the lowest species. Mrityu samsara bhartman. Again and again, we will repeat the birth and death in this material world. <clears throat> so, so without a brahmana who is endowed with spiritual knowledge, there cannot be a development of the consciousness of the spirit soul. So all the religious systems at least must agree on this common platform that human life is very valuable and development of the consciousness, consciousness of the living entity is an uh, ultimate goal. And what is the ultimate consciousness is called Krishna consciousness. As Lord Krishna says, I'm seated in everyone's heart. 
and for me comes remembrance, knowledge, and forgetfulness. By all the Vedas, I am to be known. Indeed, I am the compiler of the Vedas, and I am the knower of the Vedas. That is what Lord Krishna says. What is the ultimate consciousness of the human being is when he understands that Lord Krishna is all in all, and our knowledge, when we understand Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he the enjoyer, that's where uh, our knowledge, the living entity's knowledge ends. I'll give an example of uh, when uh, Srila Prabhupada was um, estab established ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness, um, he made it very clear the primary function um, of Krishna Conscious Movement is which is emergency, there's a need of brahmanas. Who are the brahmanas? The brahmanas who has the knowledge of the body and soul, the matter and spirit. So one such incident, while he was preaching you know, all over the world, um, especially he visited to Russia. When he visited Russia, he had a conversation, prior conversation with uh, communication with Professor Kartvarsky. Uh, he was um, leading um, some Vedic um, you know, field in, in a university. So it gave an opportunity for Prabhupada to meet him. Um, and finally he met in 1971, he met. Um, the society that time uh, is communist country. No, no one is allowed to have any other philosophy. And one must force to surrender to the government, local government, the communist government. So somehow or other Prabhupada made this um, arrangement uh, to meet Patwarski. And uh, it is a confidential, very secret conversation between him and Prabhupada. And uh, Mr. Patwarski had little understanding of Varnasthama system, but according to him, he thought that Varnasthama system was very new, which is recently established. But Prabhupada has made it very clear that Varnasrama system is ever existing because any society to run, you need four classes of men, four classes of people in a Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. So then, uh, with reference to current situation, you know, there's no Brahmana. There's no, he, said that, he said that there's no Vaishyas in our society. So Prabhupada said that is because you don't have a Brahmanas. Unless there is a Brahmana who is going to educate society in, in their, in based on their qualities, you know, they, you cannot, they, there is no hope for the society. So finally, you know, Mr. Katwashki and Prabhupada um, agreed um, um, each other. Katwashki agreed Prabhupada's point that only Krishna consciousness can bring um, help establish a, a Brahmana, a, a forwardness, which is Varnashrama system. Um, he, he literally that time he agreed this is, this is what is going to so Prabhupada's primary he, he planted the seed of a Brahmana, Brahmana means a person who is endowed with spiritual knowledge mm -hmm. and du during the same visit he met one boy called Evan Evan and he was not very he was very young and Prabhupada immediately trained him on the Vedic knowledge he trained him the Brahmanical qualities and he came back. So with that point, even in Russia, uh, the Krishna conscious movement of Varnashrama system has improved, established. Um, um, now, uh, in 6.42, um, uh, when it comes to birth of a spirit soul, it can come in many ways. Uh, it can come in many ways because the living entity, based on his previous samskaras, previous karma, he takes birth in, in a particular family. Uh, so in 6.42, Lord Krishna says that if an unsuccessful yogi, after long practice of yoga, he takes his birth in a family of transcendentalists who are surely great in wisdom, certainly such a birth is rare in this world. So there's a possibility that a child is endowed with uh, transcendental knowledge from, from the previous birth, uh, uh, from the previous birth. However, Popa says, in this age of Tali, in, the, in this age of power and hypocrisy, everybody is Sudha. 
जन्म न जायते सुद्र कलो सुद्र संभव हो सो ब्राह्मणस हु आर वेरी मच नीडेड हु हु इज गोइंग टू एस्टैब्लिश एजुकेट द सोसाइटी इन दिस वे एंड एलिवेट द कॉन्सियसनेस ऑफ द लिविंग एंटिटीज सो हियर इन इन ब्रीफ समरी व्हाट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इज कृष्णा एंड बलराम बोर्न टू द वसुदेव हु इज अ क्षत्रिय फैमिली and they moved to uh, uh, for the safety they moved to nand maharaj's place which is vaishya in in his activities so uh, uh, this uh, gargamuni who was sent by vasudev you know please go where krishna and balram is residing at nand's place please do a name given ceremony huh? now when gargamuni comes um Nanda Maharaj is very happy to receive him such an exalted person. And one sh- one should respect everyone. Amanina mana dena kirti na sadar. Everyone one must respect, but especially the respect has to be done also accordingly, mm-hmm. because the Gargamuni is a great saintly person who is endowed with the Jyoti Shastra. He says, especially because you are fully aware of the Jyoti Shastra, the astrological science. Therefore. you are natural the spiritual master of every human being so now why he says uh, uh, there's a garga samhita if if i am not wrong there's a garga samhita uh, who is in the previous chapter previous verse it is mentioned that garga muni is the compiler of the garga samhita and that samhita can provide uh, one's past and future activity so basically the uh, gargamuni knows understands the past and uh, future of a child spirit soul so it is very conducive to uh, accept the teachings of gargamuni and understand uh, in the uh, in our progressive life the progressive life of the spirit, uh, spiritual journey of a living entity is a very uh, valuable resource knowledge which can help one so that's why he says Now, you are fully aware of the jyoti shastra the astrological science therefore you are naturally the spiritual master of every human being uh, so this being so since you have kindly come here to my house kindly execute the reformatory activities for my two sons now here is krishna and balram you now they are the supreme personality of god it they do not need any reformatory uh, uh, activities and apropa rais reformatory activities is what is that uh, first everyone is born as a sudra and janmana jayate sudra based on their qualities based on their and uh, activities and based on their astrological calculations we can find out what is their uh, tendencies are and once those tendencies are identified one will be uh, uh, initiated into that particular activity Uh, one can be initiated to brahmana one can be initiated to vaishya one can be initiated to uh, kshatriya now uh, they can be initiated so here uh, once the brahmana is initiated uh, the the child who has a brahmanical quality is initiated is first he, he it is called as a second birth is called dvija uh, is called dvija dvija means who is uh, eligible to study the vedic uh, science at this time and after dvija he studies and after he studies acquired with proper knowledge he is called vipra and once he realizes uh, brahma ja, uh, brahma janati ti brahmana once he realizes the absolute truth uh, at least in the form of uh, the brahma jyoti he is called brahmana now the highest realization is called vaishnava he professes in his right brahmana means vaishnava after one becomes a brahmana the next stage of development in human society is to become a vaishnava people in general must be guided to the destination of the goal of life and therefore they must understand vishnu the supreme personality of god the whole system of vedic knowledge is based on the principle but people have lost uh, the clue nate vidu sarthagati vishnu and they are simply pursuing sense gratification with the rise of gliding with the rise of gliding down to a lower grade of life mrityu samsarvatmani so 
Krishna Consciousness Movement has a uh, very uh, important contribution to this world. We are very, very grateful uh, for uh, Prabhupada to come with taking so much of risks, so much of um, um, uh, endeavor just to revive the consciousness of the living entity so that at least they can take this human birth, uh, at least uh, by bringing them to mode of goodness. So our temples, you know, the, or all the temples, irrespective, even if they are not in a Hare Krishna temple, whatever the temple it is established in this world, it is meant for uplifting the consciousness of the living entity. Um, um, so it's not that any particular religion, any religion who is, uh, who is working in establishing, uh, helping this living entity to revive their original consciousness, Krishna consciousness, that should be appreciated. So here, uh, Nanda, uh, Nanda Maharaj is appreciating the activities, uh, the presence of, um, um, what is money? Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Gargamuni, the presence of Gargamuni as a, as, a, as a blessing because such a great persons are very rare who is working for the benefit of uh, all the society. So we are long, talk i would like to open for discussion and comments i'll share the screen in the meantime so you can refer uh, if you like just a second in summary i just wanted to um, the, that reminds me in ourselves that our temples are very very uh, crucial for the human society. And as long as we do not forget our goal, our goal is somehow or other create more and more Brahmanas, they can be preacher because this world, um, there are always shortage of preachers, you know, because there are no preachers, there are no Brahmanas. Um, uh, human life, which is very, very rare, is uh, can glide down into the lowest species of life. So any, Questions, comments, reflections? Hare Krishna Prabhu, very nice class. Um, you had mentioned about the Garga Samhita um, and you said about it knowing everything. Was it that Garga Muni knows everything from the past and everything from the future? Um, that's due to the astrological science that he studies, the science. Is that why he knows the past and the future? Yes. Yeah. Um, so basically, you know, Veda, Veda means, you know, knowledge. And uh, Veda, in, 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 in Veda means there are three kinds of knowledge. This is uh, uh, called uh, uh, Karma Kanda, Jnana Kanda, and Upasana Kanda. And, you know, every action, every knowledge, if either you are Brahmana or you are Kshatriya or Vaishya, Everything comes from the also that everything comes from the Vedas. So Vedas also provides uh, as a astrology, um, Jyoti, Jyoti Shastra, it is called Jyoti Shastra. We we don't neglect because Gargamani has compiled from the Vedic literatures, and I heard it is available in um, um, in Rajasthan, two places in India it's available, and some devotees also go. And not only that, that, you know, when our children are taking birth, we, we are, in, we are inquisitive to know what propensities they are born. So astro, uh, astrology, which is called um, Jyoti Shastra, helps us to identify the propensities of our child. Um, so there's a ceremony is done um, in, in, in Vedic society when the child is, you know, crawling, ready to crawl. So they will keep uh, different um, paraphernalias in front of the child after the name given ceremony. So they will keep and the child will crawl and find, uh, you know, touches according to his taste. So for, that gives a lakshana, lakshana means symptom of a child, what that child uh, is attracted to. That is one of the thing. Plus also through the uh, brahmanas who are endowed with this knowledge of proper astrology, we make a, you know, like I also have a astrological chart. Um, every generally we have. So yeah, to answer your question, so he has 
is he compiled from the Vedas. It's called uh, Garga Samhita. Okay, thank you. So the Garga Samhita then is a compilation of projections, or it's it's a. I'm only I've. Oh, Garga Samhita only through. So basically, yeah. what he says is from um, from your name, from your. Uh, from your um, history, everything, they can talk about the previous life. They can talk of a future life. I remember His Holiness Indra Dhamna Sai Maharaj several years ago, he visited. He, 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 he was inquisitive, you know, I don't know what happened to him, but he visited to that place and he found out his uh, history, past history. Um, um, so it is, it is always, you know, it's like a tool, like a GPS. You know, once spiritually we know where we are, you know, and sometimes uh, uh, what happens is we forget in, uh, in our past lives we have so much of sufferings we have done, you know, we have suffered, and we don't take the current situation as a as a benediction. So, uh, you know, how many of us we really think that our life is very valuable, human life? It's very rare. We don't think that. So those knowledge helps us um, at least. You know, to prepare ourselves. If it is beneficial to for Krishna consciousness, we should accept it. That's what Bhakti Vinod Thakur says. Uh, is that anything favorable for your bhakti, you accept it. Um, so if it is helps us to submit, submit, surrender ourselves to Lotus Feet of Krishna, yeah, we can take it. And that's anyway, that's Vedas. We cannot reject it. Uh, we can we don't accept the karma kind of path. But if, if uh, we, Jyoti Shastra helps us, even uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was appeared, and he uh, he's, he he was um, um, uh, uh, predicted and his identity that who is he about Prabhupada. So it is it is the science. Thank you. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Tanatma, wonderful lecture Prabhuji, wonderful session. Much of so much nectar. Prabhuji, the, the, the first line where purport starts, uh, so it's there uh, like uh, Prabhupada Maharaj writes, like the supreme personality of Godhead Krishna. So, always uh, everywhere we see, like, um, you know, uh, and we know that Krishna is the fountainhead and Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. Um, in the most of the places in the Bhagavad Gita and um, you know like uh, Bhagavatam everywhere the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna is mentioned. <coughs> Here in the second paragraph, uh, second line, like uh, Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead uh, is there. And uh, once I was reading uh, fourth canto, uh, fourth canto, fifth chapter and verse number fifth, uh, so where uh, Lord Shiva, uh, you know, like uh, when become anger and he generated uh, Birbhadra to kill uh, uh, Daksha. And Daksha, yeah. So there in the, in the uh, fourth canto, fifth chapter, fifth uh, text, uh, uh, there it is mentioned for the Lord Shiva is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So just wanted uh, probably just um, but uh, on that, and uh, when we uh, daily we do like um, uh, ten offenses, so they are in the ten offenses. Second uh, offense we do like to consider the names of the demigod like Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of Lord Vishnu. So I wanted a little cl clarification on this, Prabhuji. So I per uh, I was just knowing like uh, uh, you know uh, supreme personality of Godhead. Only Krishna is written everywhere, so I, I, I find differences here. So just please clarify. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're right, Lord Brahma. There he addresses Lord Shiva. It's Lord Brahma addresses, right? When he goes with the, all the devas, um, he addresses the, the because one should not consider Lord Shiva as an ordinary, he's also an incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, he is also Bhagavan. So basically, he had, Brahma is addressing as Shiva as Bhagavan. And that Bhagavan word is addressed in many places also. Even sometimes Narada is also, if I'm not wrong, addressed Bhagavan. So the word Bhagavan 
is who is endowed with this opulences refers to but even though so many bhagwans are addressed but ultimately the original bhagwan is ishvara parama krishna sachidananda vigra anadi adi govinda sarva karana karana he is the original bhagwan so we we don't reject the other because you know sometimes we we come to a platform that we accept something and reject immediately no uh, achinta veda veda is we accept krishna we krishna accept krishna's incarnations we accept krishna's energies everything as uh, uh, as one and that's the uh, that's the uh, realization so we <clears throat> address that this great personality is bhagwan knowing well they are also part and parcel and a servant of a supreme personality of god at krishna so so in bhagavatam there is no uh, doubt left you know krishna's position about krishna's position but whenever you see shiv puran and all this thing there you will find you know lord shiva will be addressed as a actual bhagwan um, uh, actual bhagwan but in bhagavatam it's in addressing him and he is he is the incarnation of the supreme lord he is not an ordinary jeeva like us right but ultimately we can say that he is not he is not the original bhagwan original bhagwan we learn from the from our teacher as lord brahma say so that the original bhagwan is uh, krishna even brahma is referred as a bhagwan by the by the demons hiranyakashipu is look at the mentality of hiranyakashipu's mentality he is going and glorifying lord brahma so much so you are the supreme you are everything you know so that so that they can take the uh, power from them and misuse it um, on the other way, other hand the devotees glorify yeah, as brahma and shiva as a supreme person, as a you know as a bhagwan um, as a bhagwan but they they are conscious because they are bhagwan servants they are bhagwan's representative uh, they are bhagwan's representative but they are very conscious they are not blind um, so all these things should be known from uh, you know the authorities spiritual master uh, who helps us destroy this doubts in our in our mind and what is the other question you said you had i i think you said something else also um i'm sorry it is coming to my mind in that one prabhuji means three three parts like um, here two parts like uh, the supreme personality of god means when we say supreme so that is only refers to krishna i for my understanding what i uh, i i read everywhere so supreme personality of god had uh, sri krishna krishna and the second paragraph is for that uh, vishnu he are referring and uh, when we read in that uh, fourth canto lord shiva so lord shiva is mentioned as the uh, like uh, supreme personal when we use the word supreme that is the fountain head only right not uh, yeah. bhagwan so uh, in the bhagwan category means many they can refer so the the other part i was mentioning like daily we do uh, 10 offenses So in ten offenses, the right. two offenses that to consider the names of the demigod like Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of Lord Vishnu. So I mean, uh, uh, again we are saying that uh, equal to. So here name we are giving equal to, and uh, t- in our ten offenses we are saying that we should not give equal to. So so that's uh, uh, that's yes. Uh, that, that's a that's a very good thing when a devotee. Uh, chants recites these ten offenses. Uh, one should not consider the names of demigods like Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of name of Lord Vishnu. You know, example, you know, someone calls me as a, as a, as calls you some devotee, Prabhuji, right? And we should not think that I am real the Prabhuji, uh, Master. We should when someone addresses as Master, you know, I must know. um why they call master first of all because of the once elevated position you know in this world devotees are very rare the devotee who has who has controlled one senses they are addressed um, they are considered uh, you know better bahavar to the self i should not think that i am really prabhuji right it is the other person's etiquette 
to address as a Prabhuji. <clears throat> because the Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva are actually non different in the Supreme Personality of Godhead, because um, they are the representatives of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. They are representatives of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and they have, they have a, a particular power also, Guna Vataras. They are Guna Vataras. So we can address, but in our consciousness, we know that. Uh, so basically from there, okay, in one sense from Lord Brahma, we learn how to address Lord Shiva. Now, when you go to Lord Shiva, how will we address? We can address as a Bhagavan, but at least in our consciousness, we know that he is not the Supreme, but at the same time, he is non different than the Supreme. Uh, he is because he is uh, uh, expansion, his incarnation, and also subservient to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He's endowed with so much of uh, potencies to work on behalf of uh, Supreme Personality of Godhead. These are the, these are the not very big things, as in if I see uh, the address is okay to address as Bhagavan. Many other personalities also address as Bhagavan actually. But from Bhagavatam, we understand the original Bhagavan from the authorities is Krishna. Uh, and at the same time, we don't disrespect one who says that. You know, both are Lord Shiva, Brahma, Vishnu, everyone same. It is Mayavadi philosophy. Yeah. It is Mayavadi means we are not, uh, and uh, we don't have that knowledge. When we don't have an, that knowledge, we'll commit offenses. Right. Uh, we commit offenses on that. So that's it. Um, so basically, when you're chanting Hare Krishna, uh, you we should come out of this Mayavadi concept and we should clearly see who is what, even the different personality appearing, but who is what, what is what. Um, that's very important for our spiritual growth. Yeah, uh, yeah it, uh, it uh, got clarified for this. Thank you so much. So it's, it's uh, based upon context, uh, you know, like uh, the word is given here, but uh, as you said, like we have to always keep in the consciousness. But, um, yeah, yeah, consciousness. Respect one must serve. When think about it, when Lord Shiva appears in your house, what will you do? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> so, right, uh, and, and we we will lose. If you don't serve, you will lose your spiritual life. Right. Yeah. Immediately. That's what happened. Right. The offense who committed. Yeah. What happened to Daksha? Because that's the situation you're giving. Because he did not respect Lord Shiva, considered an ordinary person. What happened? He lost everything. Um, uh, his, his all opulence is everything he lost. So it's, it's the consciousness which changes. It's service attitude changes. And we, Vidya Vina Sampane, Brahmani Gavi Harsini, Suni Chai Vasapa Kacha Pandita Samadarshana. So even a dog, an ordinary living entity, is respected considering you are the part and parcel of the Supreme Lord as Jiva. We, we serve. So here we are talking about Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva. We, we one should not commit offenses at, at the lotus feet of, at the in you know, the feet of all this great uh, personality because they are also Vaishnavas up to some extent. And Lord Shiva, the highest Vaishnava. Other demigods, they may be you know Vaishnavas up to some extent because they render service on behalf of the Supreme Lord. So it's very uh, very uh, carefully we have to discharge devotional service. That's what I understand. Yeah. Any yeah, other Dhanacharya, but... anyone else, if you're there, you want to share something, please do so. But that's my understanding. <laughs> Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yeah, just uh, on the point of Lord Shiva, uh, Brahma Samhita describe Lord Shiva and Krishna just like milk and yogurt. <clears throat> so milk, yogurt is actually only milk. It's actually the same, but it's not the same. Because it's, it's, there is milk which added some sour substance to make it yogurt. So that's the sanjayati. Uh, so like you, you said that the other personality, like Narada is also from them, others as Bhagavan, so this is right. And, but we know that the Supreme Personality Godhead who, who possess all the six operations is only reserved for Krishna. Yes. But uh, Lord Shiva is, is very close, but he is not, just like milk and yogurt. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Thanks. Thank you, Prabhu. Oh, I have one, one question. Prabhu, you were talking about Gaga Samhita. Is Gaga Samhita a deal only with astrology? Because I heard there's a Gaga Samhita. Uh, they describe all the pastime, intimate pastime of Krishna. So, uh, uh, what's the difference? <clears throat> yeah. The, it, I'm, maybe somebody, you know, I, all I know is I've never been. I had a desire to go there after I heard that. <laughs> Uh, I haven't read it, but here from the authority of uh, uh, Nanda Maharaj, I'm explaining also here what he says. Sorry, um, did, I, did I change it? Yeah, uh, you have compiled the astrological knowledge by which one can understand past and present unseen things. Um, that is Nanda Maharaj is telling, and I heard it is in uh, near the Rajasthan where the his disciples are stay there, the books are there, and people go. I don't know much about Gargamuni's uh, compilations, apart from that. So, you're right, I think he has compiled uh, about other stuff, but I haven't read. Maybe because, because sometimes you wrote a quote from Garga Samhita, you know, like some very intimate pastime, you know, about the pastime of Krishna, that is not mentioned in, in, in Krishna books. So is that why I'm just wondering what the difference? Because yes, um, it's a different. That that should be totally different. He's endowed yeah. with all these signs. Is yeah. is style like uh, you know a person maybe working in a organization, bank or somewhere. Yeah. But you know, that's his specialization. Um, but on the other hand, he's a pure devotee. Unless he's been a pure devotee of Lord Krishna, how can he name Lord Krishna and Balram? So I'm, I'm sure he has compiled, uh, um, you know, many things about Lord Krishna's pastimes as well. You're right, but I don't know if any book we have it here. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't read much actually. Okay, thank, thank you. you for for reminding. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we can take a look. Okay. So, Hi, Krishna, Krishna Kirtan Prabhu. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for a nice class. I wanted to ask you a question about uh, Van Ashram Dharma and the importance of it. Um, so you see in Srila Prabhupada's seven purposes, um, it's not really mentioned. You know, he doesn't necessarily call out the purpose of ISKCON to establish Van Ashram Dharma. Um, you know, there, there may be ways you can look at it to see that, okay, maybe Van Ashram Dharma is implied. Like, um, maybe the sixth purpose. Uh, but I don't know what, uh, what do you, because definitely Srila Prabhupada, he, he preaches about this a lot. It was definitely something that he wanted. How important is this establishment of Anashram Dharma um, within ISKCON compared to the other uh, respectful object, uh, uh, um, objectives, such as developing the Sankatan movement, distributing books, um, you know, developing deity worship, developing... Um, you know, so many other, you know, j just, just the preaching movement and versus establishing Van Ashram Dharma. Thank you, Dharan Chaibu. You're, you're vice president and this question is very, this is not question, you're not questioning me, you're not asking, basically you're bringing to this point. So I'm not answering, I'm going to just share what I understand. <clears throat> So uh, your point is very valid. You know, I know, you, I hope devotees are not getting late, but I'll try to put this because this is a very, very complicated discussion. Even within the society, the leaders are a little confused sometimes, you know, what to do. So when Prabhupada movement started, when Prabhupada movement started, the seven purposes of ISKCON in a broader term, what is to be done, okay? So that is what is to be done, that's the purpose. So the society was lacking a Brahmanas. So basically, he, if you notice, he immediately focused on a lot of Brahmanas that time only because a lot of preachers are needed, right? And gradually, what, when, he, when he observed also, he saw that in, um, there's a Grahastha Ashram is needed. It's not just Brahmachari will do. It's not Sanyas will be done. There's a Grahastha Ashram also has to be equal importance. So when the Grahastha Ashram, um, you know, that's why you see the old, olden devotees, early days, they didn't like the Grahastha Ashram much, the, the way they were up, uh, brought up. Now in Ishkan, we see 
there's appreciation for the grahastha ashram also so because grahasthas also can contribute you know equally so when there's a grahastha ashram so there's a sanyas there's a brahmachari there's a grahastha ashram is there the varnashrama system has to be there because otherwise what will happen <clears throat> grahasthas will continue to work in their factories Mm -hmm. um, uh, which is not very conducive to the spiritual life, which is not, it is not in in coherence with the Vedic principles. So uh, there's a there's a push to have the varnashrama system. Means uh, every no matter what, even if everybody is rendering devotional service to Supreme Lord Krishna, but everyone is born of a certain nature, that we cannot deny. You know, I am very good in cleaning. Okay, I'm very good in cleaning, uh, but in but I I'm a, I'm a devotee, but I'm good in cleaning, and I cannot take the brahmanist position. So we have to recognize uh, different, irrespective of in in our society, irrespective of even though we are devotees, but we cannot deny that we all are born with different quality, and engaging uh, as Krishna says, yat parosi, yat jihasi, whatever you do. And to do with for my satisfaction, so engaging all these qualities in nature. Somebody is a good in Vaishya, somebody is a good in administration, someone good is giving class, someone good in cleaning, you know, or all other things. But everyone, all inclusive, everyone can be a first class Vaishnava simply uh, engaging those uh, those abilities, those qualities in Krishna's service. And as a devotee, leaders of the society. And as a president or a guru, especially guru, we we have it's suggested that we recognize those qualities and engage them according to um, their nature. So varnashrama part is intrinsic; it is there in the system. It's there within us. It's nothing really has to be created. It just need to be engaged people according to their propensity. You cannot pull anyone and make him the temple president. That's the problem happens. <clears throat> I'll give a very simple example. In an IT, people earn a lot of money, so don't take me uh, my word. Just generally earn. So sometimes they work very well, uh, very good. They perform very good in their in the duty, the work they do. But eventually, the upper management sees, oh, this man is doing very well. So next day, they promote him. Say today onwards, you're a manager. From a from a developer, you become a manager. And once he becomes he or she becomes manager, what happens? The Kind of work they used to do and the kind of work they are now the, uh, being asked to do, there's a big difference. So many people get into a mental stress, anxiety, diabetes. You know, so just because one is good in one aspect, we cannot try to put him in another shoe. So everybody is a certain quality. It's a natural quality. Varnasama system is nothing one has to make it. It is already existing. But engaging people according to their propensities is Varnasama system. And in order to engage, creating the facility for that is called Varnasama system. And Prabhupada is directly or indirectly directing that as a leader of the society, you know, guru, GBC, temple president, it's our job to train the people in spiritual development by providing a facility for them to, so that they can grow gradually in Krishna consciousness. So to answer your question, we cannot reject it. It is there and we need to work on that direction. Within our temple, we will find the Varnashrama system. We just have to have our perception how we are working on it. In a smaller scale, or when we see expanded community, you know, Philadelphia area or Delaware area, how they can be engaged in, uh, in uh, based on their quality propensities. That's called Varnashrama system. If you're referring to okay, having a gosala, you know, having that's also needed. That's not every. I cannot go and take up the cows, but those are propensity. You have to create the facility because cows are needed, farming is needed. So those devotees have propensity to do. We must engage them there. I don't know if I answer, I could answer your question or not, but that's my understanding. <clears throat> Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. Um, uh, I just just something on this recently. I was listening to Shiva Ram Swami uh, during uh, during the week of um, ISKCON's uh, anniversary, the incorporation of ISKCON a couple of weeks ago. Um, the uh, strategic planning team, ISKCON strategic planning team, was doing 
uh, seven days on seven different purposes of ISKCON. And they were interviewing devotees that, within ISKCON, senior devotees that were, you know, basically specialized in this particular aspect of the service. And Shivaram Maharaj, um, he has probably the most successful, they were saying, farm community in, um, in the world um, within ISKCON in Hungary. And he was saying they have hundreds and hundreds of devotees that live there. And he's saying, even with this, it's still not enough to really implement Vanashram Dharma. Uh, um, uh, and he was saying how rare it is actually to have a real Brahmana. Um, yes, we have people that come, they, they, they do deity worship, but you know, true Bra people with Brahminical nature is very rare. And um, he's just saying how you need, you need so many people, you know, you really need a society in order to develop the Vanashram Dharma. Um, it just got me thinking about how how much the emphasis should really be on this. Um, so anyway, thank you for answering the question. Uh, a follow-up question to that, it'll, it'll be real quick. So you were mentioning how, you know, you have people, somebody that's just maybe like a cleaner, you maybe just have a more of a sudra-like mentality. Um, I can certainly relate to that. Um, is it possible for somebody like that um, to become a guru or is a guru only a person that is a Brahmana? Well, um, Guru is what is Guru, those as, as Krishna says, those who know the science of Krishna consciousness, they are Guru. Mm -hmm. Those who know the science of Krishna with Krishna, those who know the science of Krishna consciousness, they are Guru. So it's not necessarily, um, so to, to in, in simple way, when, what is the meaning of Guru, first of all? You know, Guru is, uh, uh, if you're really talking about Guru, you know, Guru can be a Siksha Guru also, Guru can be Diksha Guru also, right? So, as a, as a, as a Siksha Guru, you know, we, we can teach other people about whatever we are, we are, uh, we know, right? And if your people are getting into only trapped into Diksha Guru, Diksha Guru is taking responsibility of guiding him in, in, into the Shastras and engaging him properly. That's also further responsibility. So both the Siksha Guru and Diksha Guru function. And whoever is Vaishnava, you know, he, can, he can be Guru. But it's not that it is not allowed to be Guru because we ourselves don't feel comfortable to become Guru. But how our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Jara Deko Tariko Krishna Upadesh. He did not say that only initiated Diksha, Diksha Gurus speak about Krishna. There's a, you know, Arjun, uh, Arjun, Bhakta Arjun from Delaware. <clears throat> His father, Prahlad, uh, Madhripura's father, Prahlad Priyapurva was mentioning to me that he was feeling guilty, you know, I could not do anything proper to you for so long like that. So one day you did not give me any instructions. So he's saying that one day he had a dream, Prabhupada said, whoever you see, say chant Hare Krishna. <clears throat> that way you become guru. Somehow we are making as a life is very complicated in our society, who should be guru, who should not be guru. The one who has a quality, natural quality, he will, whether you make him guru or not, he will do that only, right? A teacher's propensity to teach others, whether you artificially give a position that, see, in our moment, we recognize, we give a recognition, but natural qualities and abilities are, they has to be there in that personality, a desire to help the disciple. So if a person is, is desired to help other devotee, to bring him, to guide him, he's a natural guru. Yes or no? <clears throat> um, that vision, I, I use the word as absolute nature of the guru is very important, especially for devotees of our movement, because our movement is, is a so many limbs, Siksha Guru, Diksha Guru, and Prabhupada is a you know, Siksha Guru for everyone. So it's very important that for we understand the absolute nature of the guru and to see Prabhupada's instructions and Guru's instruction and to contrib contribute discharge within that local place where we are serving. So uh, I hope I'm not mixing, but to answer, no, you can be a guru, you know, I can be a guru, all the devotees on the call, they can be a guru, and even Lord Chaitanya asked us to become guru. However, how? With your own example. Upon your with your own example, you become guru. 
if your question is being recognized by ISKCON as officially that you are a guru, yeah, <clears throat> that is done decided by the devotees both ways. GBC decides, and the devotee also has to be desired to become guru because being guru is not an easy thing. It's just so much. People, general people think that any high position, being temple president is a super position and everybody fights for it. Being a guru, maybe people fight for it. Maybe being a GBC, people want to fight for it. But people forget there's a deep responsibility behind it. So if you are, as, uh, as uh, Rishabh Dev said, if you have a desire, strong desire, your ability to take this living entity, uh, free him from birth and death, giving pure devotional service, become an initiated guru, no problem. So you can be. So to answer your question, if it doesn't matter, because he's, he's conscious, he's serving and the Lord by cleaning, he can be a perfect guru. That's what I know. I hope I didn't mix so many things. Because these are the complicated questions you're asking, <laughs> which is sometimes controversial also in our moment. Anyone Thank has you, other, other anyone has other opinion? Please do so. That's my understanding. Okay, a guru, a guru also is a diksha guru and shiksha guru. I don't know what he meant by guru. You know? Guru, a guru can be a diksha guru, shiksha a guru, shiksha. or or a shiksha guru is also a guru, right? Prabhuji, and uh, if we are only talking about guru, one. Uh, what progressive guru is also guru who can, any, like you said, any Vaisnava, any devotee can be a guru. Yapath uh, Pradasak is also guru. If we, are talk, if we are not talking a specific uh, Diksha guru or Siksha guru, just guru words, Yapath Pradasak is also guru. So anybody can be guru. Any, any Vaisnava or any devotee can be guru. That's right. Any devotee can be right as a Pathadarsha. Like we all been introduced to our movement first. So we should respect as a guru, but not necessarily as Bhagavatam says, what it says, you must serve the person who is free from vice. We should not, he, he introduced us to the movement, but we should not forget, you know, how to live in the movement. What is that? Respect and serve those who are free from the vice. Show compassion, become guru for those who are less. It, is, it applies to even those initiated gurus also are doing the same thing. Yeah. You know, in our moment, those initiated gurus, they're also taking messages to the obligatory content. And they become friendships to uh, you know, their equals. And they're making compassion to us. So it's the same thing applicable. That's the systematic gradual growth of the society. Yeah. It's not the competition. It's the... It's the ability and it's the deep desire to help, to die, to suffer for the other living. Prabhupada so become guru because he wanted to suffer for others. If you have that desire, then take the position. Not like other simply take up a uh, name and uh, okay. yeah. so. Another verse to validate that is um, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. This is the Kiba Vibra Kiba Nasi Sudra Kena Naya Krishna Sata Veda Sri Guru. So you, I think you, you, you mentioned that. With that. That's what I was mentioning. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I forgot the full full verse. Yeah. Um, thank, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Krishna Kirtan, for, for, the, for the explanation. Hey. Hare Krishna. So thank you, Krishna Kirtan, for spending the time and engaging us in this Krishna Kata, this hearing process. Uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Tomorrow, Hari Ashram Prabhu will lead us in the uh, study of the Japa reform. Um, so everybody can always use a little, little help in this area. Uh, so please join us as we, we study the book, Japa reform notebook. Uh, we begin a little bit later tomorrow, just 10 minutes later, eight o'clock. So.
see everybody then. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.